So when we log into the Tello, this is the home screen here. And if we want to code using the blocks, we just come down to the bottom here and tap on that jigsaw block there. Now this is a really simple coding interface where you've got your, your controls on this left hand side and your main stage on the right. So if we go under motion, for example, our first one is going to be, we want to take off because that's the first thing we're obviously going to need the drone to do. So we're going to drag that takeoff jigsaw piece into the main stage area. And what we actually want it to do is to snap into that jigsaw piece up the top there. So basically what's going to happen would be if you did this code just now, if you press the start button, the drone would take off and then it would just hover there. So we want to fill out that code based on whatever scenario it is that we're working on. So we can have a look at the motion here. So perhaps we increase the altitude a bit, perhaps we go forward, we go back, we turn clockwise, counterclockwise, move right, move left, whatever it is that the students need to do to complete whatever activity that you've given them. Now, all you need to really do is to make sure that the students have both the takeoff and the land jigsaw piece in there. And whatever else goes in the middle is completely up to them. Now you can also see, for example, if you go into the control options, you have loop functions. So you can repeat a certain action multiple times. So this is something that you can use to challenge some of the students who are a little bit more advanced as well. And so then when the students have finished coding, all you need to do is to make sure that the drone is switched on using the small button on the body of the drone. And then when it's, when it's switched on, it will try and connect. And if you need to give it a bit of a kicker, um, you just come into that upper left hand side and double check that it is connected to the drone that you want it to be connected to. And then, then you can press start to take off and fly. Now, the other thing that I really like about this app is that you can save and upload new code as well. So if you are happy with that particular piece of code that you've done, you've got the options to save and then to upload it again another time. You do have your battery indicator up on the upper right hand side, which is also really useful. Now, something that you might also be interested in looking at is on the right hand side, you can look at different aspects of the flight information as well. So your students might be interested in having a look at some of those different aspects there and using that in a scientific way to understand what the drone is doing at certain times.